morning to another person here. Myself, Tomarik Sivan, and my project pet, Mr. C. Sorry, and my, and my project, yeah, another project pet, Mr. C. Asso Kumar. And my project internal guide is Mr. P. Mustafa, and my external guide is T. Dot Sajit Kumar. I am doing my project in Hindustan Automation Solutions. My project title is Design and Implementation of Cyclogonata for High Frequency Applications. First, I will introduce what is meant by Cyclogonata. Cyclogonata is nothing but to convert the more fixed frequency into variable frequency. For what purpose the cyclo converter will be used for me? Uh, it can be used for high frequency applications. It will be used for an induction heating. For example, in our uh, uh, house, uh, we will use an induction, induction stove, but it cannot maintain a constant frequency. In our project, we will use it to maintain a fixed frequency for the last purpose of time. Uh, in our uh, in our project, uh, cyclo converter, uh, we will use in the uh, in an existing system. Uh, we can put the system existing on the proposed system. In an existing system, uh, we does not reduce the harmonics. By a lot of the harmonics, there are a lot of problems will be occurred. So we will modify it by reducing the uh, harmonics and also maintain the constant frequencies up to 30 kilohertz in our project. So my another brief explanation is uh, my project next year is going to explain. Uh, I am Ashok Kumar. Uh, generally, cyclo converters uh, used to convert fixed frequency to variable frequency. But in our project, from the comparison, when compared to the existing system, the proposed system is going to increase the frequency up to 30 kilohertz. These are the uh, kits. In that, in that, uh, in that purpose, the uh, AC supply is given to the transformer. So, the purpose of transformer is to step down the voltage to 24 volt and given to the diode rectifier. The diode rectifier go after the diode rectifier, it removes the ripple, ripples from the diode rectifier and given to the edge bridge inverter. The purpose of edge bridge inverter is to uh, it, it has the advantage of lightweight and reduces its count. So after that it is passing to the uh, switching device. So they are switching, in that we are using a switching device as MOSFET. But uh, why the 6 MOSFET can be used? How? How? Because we are using a 2 diode rectifier, but in, in that using only 6 MOSFET. So the configuration of 6 MOSFET is 2, 2, uh, 2, power, uh, 2 into n plus 2. So th in that purpose we are getting only 2 outputs. So, so 2, 2 into 2 plus so it means uh, 6 MOSFET can be used. So these are the 6 MOSFET and output can be get through, output can be get, get from that, the output uh, means, so 1 and this and this output can be uh, obtained as a 40% of duty cycle and this and this should be the 50% of duty cycle. So after that, uh, these are the switching circuit and control circuit can be given, obtained by uh, big microcontroller after, uh, and in, uh, the purpose of control circuit is to control the signal from the input signal and given to the output without any distortion. My, in our project, by another benefit is by, by giving only single input, but it will obtain a two output. It's another or basic uh, quality of our project. Uh, in our project, uh, in a kit, we are using a single phase cyclo converter. Uh, in that uh, single phase cyclo converter, we will give a 24 volt and it will maintain a 12 volt. Uh, but it can maintain the frequency up to 30 kW. So, uh, in our simulation result, uh, we will show in laptop. First, uh, where is uh, in that simulation result, this is the diode rectifier circuit. In the diode rectifier circuit, what purpose means? Uh, by giving a uh, supply voltage, in that inductor circuit is used to reduce the harmonics. In the diode rectifier function is used to convert the AC supply into DC supply. In that, uh, by parallelly connecting to the capacitor, it will reduce the some amount of harmonics. This is the uh, MOSFET triggering circuit. Uh, by what? Uh, this is the total harmonic destruction. By how we will can get the output means this is the scope will be connected to it will output by clicking the scope we, uh, we will get an output this is the output we will obtain a 110 volt because in the simulation result uh, we will use a or three phase cyclo converter circuit uh, this is the output voltage uh, in the total harmonic distance will goes to 0 0.026 or something like that uh, this is another output voltage we will obtain uh, by clicking the scope we will obtain that another output voltage 110 volt uh, next, this is the DC voltage. This is the output. Mm, this is the output 110 volt. By combining the two output voltages. Uh, okay. Uh, in that, in that output. In the DC output, uh, from the input signal, the, there is a lot of noise is there. So the the peak can be formed by removing the noise. After that, it will it will increase the voltage up to 140 and then maintain the constant voltage from the inverter section. So this is the THG. This is the THG value. It can be up to uh, the THG can be obtained up to 0 0.2459.
so it can be run, running on that and this is the first output value this is the output voltage at a duty cycle of 50% and which can be connected from this one this one and this one and uh, and second voltage is 40% of duty cycle which can be a same as same as that of duty cycle of 50% without any harmonic distortion so harmonic distortion should be reduced with, but it's a negligible value and next one is a uh, the logic design of gate pulse the logic design of gate pulse is uh, for q1 and q2 this, this is the logic design for q1 and q2 this is the logic design because the q1 has on means that q should q2 should be off so q2 must be complement of q2. so next one is the q Next is uh, Q3 and Q4. So in, in that Q4 must be on, must be on. So Q3 off. So Q3 must be the com complement of Q4. And uh, another similarly, the Q5 was off. So Q6 must, Q6 must be on. So Q6, Q5 must be a complement of Q5. Q6. And uh, final one is the current. So current at 40% uh, of duty cycle is, we, we obtain the current as a 12 amps. And TAC value can be obtained from the Scope display. In our applications of our project, uh, started going to expand. Uh, application software, uh, like you can know, there is nothing but uh, it is used for metal heating process, it is used for aircraft process, and it is also used for induction uh, purposes. Uh, the main important thing of this project is used to maintain the frequency at 30 kilohertz. That's all. Thank you.